Hey guys, Colorado Camper Man Brian here. Just uh, getting inside the truck camper here. It's Halloween actually. But um, yeah, I was going to be doing some insulation here on the truck camper. So I figured I'd show you guys what uh, I'm going to start doing. So I'm going to be doing this over the course of um, a couple weeks probably. So I'm going to take some video here today and just keep on showing you guys what I'm doing. But I'm going to rip out the uh, old ice chest here. So um, the door actually broke off on one of the trips and you can kind of see it's pretty messed up in the corner. So I'm going to take this thing out because I think the insulation behind it is next to nothing because we get some pretty terrible drafts around here and I have no idea what it looks like behind this thing. And since this is already pretty much busted up, I'm going to take it out and either see if I can fix it and salvage it or I might just get a new one completely. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this thing ripped out and see what it looks like behind here. Alright, so here's what it looks like on the inside. Right down there, you kind of see there's a little to no insulation. I think behind the wood veneer there is insulation i'm sure so it's kind of good to get this off actually because also this uh the fresh water hose was leaking a little bit at the top here as i would uh get water in here so i'm going to see if i can tighten that down this is what it looks like without the ice chest so i took that foam out and you can see that uh, metal box that's where the propane is and it is not insulated at all. You can actually see outside there too. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm gonna put some duct tape over that gap there. And then I'm going to put some of that expanding foam over it. And then once the expanding foam dries, then I'll remove the duct tape. And that will be nice and sealed up. So here is the propane from the outside see this huge gap I mean it's no wonder it's so drafty from behind here so I'm gonna seal that up and up here I've always known that there's been this draft I thought that foam helped but I'm gonna make sure this thing is really sealed up now I should seal things up real good. And I got things from above too. There's where I got from above. Should definitely help seal things up. I was planning on doing this uh, bottom edge of my closet in here. And I'm uh, looking back in here because I was going to do this. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's a whole bunch of ammo. <laughs> it's 38 special ammo. That's what's all jammed down in there. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get all of it out. It took me a little bit to get just one out. And there's probably 30 rounds down there. So here's all the areas that I spray foamed. So in the closet. In here where I already showed you guys. I also uh, did quite a bit down in here by where the heater is. Got this little storage compartment. Right there behind the seat. Some of this I'll go back and cut off and chisel up. Some of it I'll just leave it. Did a lot on the outside. I mean, pretty much anywhere where I saw gaps or cracks, I just foamed it. And again, it looks kind of ugly, but I'll go back and make sure that I... Some of this really heinous stuff I'll trim up. Other stuff I don't really care. No one's ever going to see this once it's in the bed. Got all that bunch down there, and then this is what this looks like. So we should be good.
This is the 15th straight divisional road win, which is an NFL record, all-time NFL record. It's got some bubble wrap on the window here.